Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee, and I'm out today fitting a new front door. Now, you might look at this front door and think I've already done the job. Although it looks good, this door actually suffers from swelling in the winter, shrinking in the summer. The customer's telling us they're forever having to repaint it, and they really want something a bit more durable, a bit more stable, and they don't want plastic. They're adamant about that. They want something that's in keeping with the character of the property, and we've come up with a door for them. It's the JB Kind Extreme Medite Tricoya door. Now, this is an amazing material. If you haven't seen it before, it's completely stable in all kinds of weathers. You can even put it underground. So that's what the door is made of. And provided you follow the simple tips I'm gonna give you now, that door will last you for years and years without any trouble at all. So that's the door, and all that remains for me to do is fit it. Well, that's pretty good. It looks like I don't have to take anything off the length or the width of this door, but I'm not always that lucky. And if you do have to trim the door, if you're trimming off the length, take it off the top up to a maximum of 20 millimeters. Of course, you might still have to rebate the bottom for a water bar. And if you're taking it off the width, take it off equally on both sides. It always looks better. And you've got a maximum of five millimeters to take off on each side. Now, basically this is a hardwood frame that's going all the way around the edge. So, so long as you're careful, you should be fine. Now, just before you commit yourself by cutting the hinges in, it's always worth checking you got the door the right way round. Now, helpfully on these Pilkington double glaze units, they've got stickers showing you that this is the inside. Now it's very important with all doors that if you cut, if you trim, if you put the hinges in, that you seal the timber with a good primer of some sort just to stop any moisture getting in. And that way you control the levels of moisture in the door and you've got absolute dimensional stability. When you're positioning locks, handles, knockers, anything else, do look at the instructions because they give you the permissible dimensions where you can position them. In this case, we've got 100 millimeters of solid timber all the way down this style. And just because it's conventional, I'm gonna go 99, which is halfway, and use that as the central point on the lock. But obviously this will vary according to your situation. Now this is the old fashioned way of doing it. Nothing wrong with this. You drill out and then you clean it off with the chisel. Works perfectly well, but you must be careful that when you drill, you drill plumb. In other words, you don't drill at an angle and end up coming out the side of the door, the face of the door. And one way to do this, I always drill a little way and then go to the end of the door, sight it through to make sure I'm near enough vertical and that way you can't make any mistakes but the thing is don't rush just do a little bit at a time and you'll be fine but there is a modern way of doing it and that is with a router
Okay, fingers crossed, let's see how it goes. So I think that's pretty good. Now all I've got to do is fit that weather bar and a door knocker and I'm out of here. Now I'm just going to fit the knocker and the instructions say fit it on the style because that's where the solid piece of wood is and in the middle you've got insulation but you can fit it in the middle if you use a bolt that goes all the way through rather than trying to fix it to the exterior and the same goes for the letterbox if you're fitting a letterbox go for the two-part letterbox in other words the sleeve goes through to the bolt so it fixes straight the way through from front to back rather than attaching to the surface. Now the last job I've got to do is to fit this weather bar which comes supplied with the door and is an essential part of the fitting so don't neglect it and it's factory painted in white and it's a very durable finish this material is so dimensionally stable that the paint stays on it very well I know that from experience but of course you can paint it any colour you like So that's it, a good day's work with this JB Kind Extreme door and the customer's delighted, which is the main thing. And because it's got this Medite Tricora Extreme, it comes with a full 10 year guarantee. It will keep out all kinds of bad weather. And it's also thermally insulated. It's got a thermally insulated core and it's got double glazing, so it'll also keep out the cold. <laughs>